oral polio vaccine was the first to be invented. This is wrong. First statement is wrong. Inactivated polio vaccine which contains killed virus. Which contains killed virus. That is developed first 1955. And oral polio vaccine. This inactivated polio vaccine or IPV which is given through injection in the muscle that is developed first 1955 and first statement becomes wrong oral polio vaccine 1961 and oral polio vaccine that is having live attenuated weakened virus and that became famous because of less cost because of ease in introducing this vaccine to the child because of several reasons both oral polio vaccine and inactivated polio vaccine are almost equally effective in controlling circulation of wild polio virus strains this is wrong in fact to control to control this wild polio virus strain to control wild polio virus strain you require multiple rounds of oral polio vaccine multiple rounds of oral polio vaccine is required to control the circulation of wild polio virus strain right and once wild polio virus strain is eradicated and then you can switch over to completely ipv we learned in the editorial discussion few days ago right so ipv cannot control the circulation of wild polio virus it is not that effective in controlling the circulation of wild polio virus strain right and once the country eradicates wild polio virus it is to be shifted to ipv because this oral polio vaccine in rare cases maybe one in million one in two million that may cause ivdpv and cvdpv right both inactivated polio vaccine and oral polio vaccine cause IVDPV and CVDPV. This is wrong. Only this oral polio vaccine in rare cases, it results into circulating vaccine derived polio virus or immunodeficiency vaccine derived polio virus. And Meghalaya case, there is no clarity till now. All three statements are wrong. So the right option is D. Right. About lateral entry to the mid-management cadre. In fact, we already deliberated this in the editorial discussion. Lateral entry, 45 post notification was issued by UPSC. There was a lot of opposition even from the coalition partner because of reservations and the government has taken back that means UPSC was advised to stop the recruitment 45 posts are at the deputy secretary level that means IAS officers who complete around 9 years of service enter that cadre director 14 years joint secretary 19 years at all these three cadres for a period of 3 to 5 years lateral entry posts were announced and that notification was taken back lateral entry was there for several years since 2019 63 people were recruited through lateral entry and seven resigned around 56 are working right the lateral entry has been recommended by the second arc absolutely correct Second Administrative Reforms Commission has recommended the lateral entry because the emerging technologies, emerging areas, they are very difficult to tackle with the in-service officers. And once the officer enters through lateral entry, they continue to be in the government service till superannuation. Absolutely wrong. They may be for three years, five years like that. And as per the existing norms, state governments have to depute all India services officers like IAS, IPS, Indian Forest Service to central government officers up to not more than 40%. But that is not taking place literally. And as per government statistics, above particular level, central government is supposed to have 1500 officers from the all India services, but they are working with around 500 officers. Right, so one only A is the right option as far as lateral injury is concerned. Have a nice day. Thank you.